It appears that General Motors is trying to make up for the death of the EV1 with its latest creation, the Chevrolet sequel. The petroleum-free fuel cell vehicle is General Motors' most technologically advanced automobile ever built. On a personal level, when you drive this vehicle, you don't really notice that it's a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle running a vehicle. All you notice is that it's got great acceleration, it stops very quickly, and it can steer very responsibly. So you feel very comfortable driving this vehicle. It's quieter inside, there's more interior space. So it's an all-around better vehicle in our opinion. With a 300-mile range between fuel ups, the Chevy sequel offers twice the range of earlier fuel cell cars, and it's also peppy, reaching from 0 to 60 in just under 10 seconds. In addition to the hydrogen fuel cell propulsion system, the sequel incorporates a broad menu of advanced technologies such as steer and brake by wire controls, wheel hub motors, lithium ion batteries, and a lightweight aluminum structure. Here's how it works. Pressing the accelerator sends signals to the sequel's onboard computer, which in turn activates the hydrogen fuel cell and lithium ion battery. The two combine to send electric power to the motors inside the two rear wheels and one motor up front. While cruising, the battery goes into standby mode, while the fuel cell powers the car and recharges the battery. The sequel's interior also offers an interesting glimpse into the future. Because the powertrain fits into a flat, skateboard-like platform, there is no engine up front, which eliminates the need for a traditional layout and provides unmatched room inside for people and cargo. But overall, sequel's biggest breakthrough is its practicality. It uses technologies that exist today and will only get better, smaller, and cheaper with time bringing us closer to a hydrogen economy. This is more than just a, a great car. We're dealing with very important societal issues regarding the future of transportation, the future of energy, the future of economic growth, and quite honestly, national security kinds of issues. So we see this as a huge responsibility to take these technologies and put them together and find the solutions. GM anticipates that research, development, and technology of the sequel will be complete by 2010, and if all goes well, we could see a vehicle like this on the road within the next decade.